most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about when you have back pain, you want to make sure you're lifting correctly. Right. Because if you lift incorrectly, you can make your back pain worse. Even if you're lifting up something as light as a pencil. Right, exactly. So the big thing, when you're lifting something, you want to keep the back itself, it's like it's in a cast. Mm -hmm. It's not going to move. The movement's not happening here. It's happening all at your hips. Yep. Yep. And there's different options we're yeah. going to go over to we'll make this each easier. One, yes. So let's talk about the first one. How about squatting? The basic squat, yes. Yeah. Now, what you're going to want to do is probably get a, well, you could use a yardstick. You could use a broomstick. You could use a booyah stick. Yeah. You need anything about f at least four feet long, maybe a little longer, and you'll see exactly what we're this talking about. This is going to keep you honest. Now, I, when you're squatting, Brad, first off, a lot of people don't do this. I really want you to have a wide stance. Yeah. It's going to be easier to get closer to the ground if your legs are really wide apart. Yep. Not shoulder width. I mean, wide. Yep. Yeah, I've always, I'll have people. Sumo. Yeah, I've had people lift, and, and they, they go they like go this like without even being aware of that. Yep. And then I say, stop, get like this. You're going to be more stable, stronger. Even if it's, uh, it's a pencil. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. You know, a Absolutely. So, you don't have to do this every time, but just a couple of times to get you oriented where you should be when you lift. You put uh, st the stick in place like this. Mm -hmm. It's going to have three points of contact. Here at the head, here between the shoulder blades, and then here at the belt line or at the sacrum. Sh you should feel contact If I do there. it wrong, I'm only going to have maybe one or two points of contact. And the back is rounding, right? not with good mechanics. But if I do it right, I'm bending all at the hip, and I'm keeping my back straight. That's right. This really helped my wife just visualize it. I mean, she thought about it. She goes, oh, I understand what you're saying. I, I have used this technique for patients, and I'll say, I want you to do squats with a stick like this. Yep. And do them every day. It strengthens your legs and it really enforces proper body it mechanics. You. Yeah. Right. So that if you're going to pick up, it's something that it's not new. You know what to do without thinking so much about Brad, it. Brad, do you want to show lunge? Lunge. Yeah. I want to lunge. Now, uh, again, for the beginner, you might have something to hold on to yep. to start off with. Cupboard, bed, whatever. You know, if you've got a cane or a stick. So. But it's basically, you're doing a half squat. Yeah. And then, and while you're doing that, you're still going to maintain that yes. straight. And I don't, don't do don't this do with a stick, right. but that's the idea. Boom. If you don't have enough strength, start by training with something beside right. you. Because if you got and back you're pain, you're definitely going right. to want support. Exactly. Right. Now, the golfer's lift, which I do a lot. Oh, yes. Take a ball out of the hole. You're basically going to dip. But like, you don't have to be golfing to do this. No, you don't. It's not a rule. So, like, here we've got the mouse. Right. So there's a mouse running around, and you want to pick it up. Look at my back leg. My back is going to be straight, and I can bend this leg. One hand is over here. I imagine you hold on to your golf, right. your, your putter. Yes, I do. Yep. Exactly. There we go. And this one, the big thing is, is you have to be careful for who's standing behind yeah, you. Yeah, that's right. You do a little... Back kick. That could be an issue. All right. Next one, Brad. Let me take a look here. What you have? Um, the saw lift. The you saw. didn't know what I was talking about. When well, you know, I, no, it's a good one though, because you know. So if you, whenever you, know, you can, cut some wood. And there's something next to you. What about the spine? I'm gonna pick it up. Oh. <laughs> but you can see again. I'm keeping my back really straight. Yep. All the bend is like happening that. at the hip. Now, I hold on here. Mm -hmm. This really takes a lot of stress on yes. your back. And this is the saw. I, it's like a sign, right? Yeah. If you're going to saw, you're going to hold on a hand saw. Right. Yeah. yeah. If you're, you're cutting hold, uh, right. you know, some firewood when you, know, you don't have right. a chainsaw, <laughs> there you go. Use a spine. <laughs> Either way, it's a great way to pick things yeah, up. Yeah, so. it is the right idea. All right. 
We have another one here. Oh, yeah. Leg straight. Let's say you come up to a bin or something like that or something on the table. Like, I'm going to lift this spine off the table. This is like making your bed as well. Right. Oh, very good we, point. You're reaching over for I the I don't sheets. want you to arch, I mean, round out like this. Oh, yeah. Here, let's, let's you, demonstrate yep. here. Let's use the red. See, look at that. Ooh, yep. And you see this so often. Yeah. I would see this in nursing homes all the time sure. by the staff. So you, you actually keep your legs straight, but you keep you uh, you bend forward like I don't know a dipping soldier. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna reach forward and grab the spine and keep my head and back straight. You know, I'm doing it the entire on a bed. I've always suggested take one knee and put it up. That works too. Uh, yep, absolutely. Which you cannot do if you're reaching into a bend that maybe has, right. in a work setting, that's probably most common. That's a real challenge. Another one, Brad, if you go down like this and you keep your hands uh, on your knees, yep. and your elbows on your knees, yep. it's a great way to support your back. And if you're going to do a lot of weeding, Gonna weed the garden. Yeah, you can go like this uh, if you're not getting all the way down, if it's muddy soil, what are you going to do? Yeah. But Keep. That one's a good, good hint. Yeah, I don't do much weeding anymore, but and I did when I was a kid. We had a garden, you know. Did you have a garden? Yes, I oh, did. Good. Yeah, I imagine with eight kids or how many kids you got? A 12? thousand. A thousand. <laughs> All right. Let's say you're going to have a raised surface. Um, you want to again make sure your back is straight when you're doing that. Um, so if you're working a bench or something, Brad. Yep, high level. And this is usually much yeah. easier for, for people to work with. It's a big thing is you're not going to twist. You know, if you can move your feet and keep the, in line. It's really nice to have a, 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 a flexible table that you can adjustable. Adjustable. <laughs> I know I was looking for uh, more. And they're getting more and more yeah, common where you, you can, can just keep push them the between button. your waist yep. and your shoulders. That's a good area to be. All right. If you're if you have something heavier, actually, probably belt level is, yeah. is ideal. All right, those are the lists, That's it. Brad. Yep, there were seven of them. Se you can't go funny. wrong. Yeah, seven mm -hmm. is complete. You can't right. go wrong with it. This is part of a series of videos, by the way, on back pain that you can find at bobandbrad.com. Go to the program section, and you'll find one on back pain. You can watch the ones that you feel are pertinent to you. Right, just look at the titles, and also you'll see a little uh, button you can click on. It says PDF printout. You can print out a review and photographs uh, and uh, illustrations of what the video is all about. So it works out very handy. It's our gift to you. It's, f it's all free. Yeah, there's not even a emails ass. Right. Not even Nothing. that. Right, yep, just a smile. All right, thanks.